Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was busy. Speaking of, I sculpted tiny clay plants and I put them in a jar and it turned out not exactly how I wanted, but I already made the entire video, so enjoy. First I took a nasty salsa jar and this with sprinkles in it to make a home for my plant sculptures. Then I took off that sticker and as you can guess, it was sticky sticky, ew ew, no thanks. Listen. Then I made this paste out of baking soda and cooking oil and lathered that on. For about 20 minutes I waited and during this time I poked my family's faces. They got you. Lily. Yes. Knock, knock, knock. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock, knock. No. Your sister. Boink. Dummy. Well, then oh, after oh. that, I just looked outside and missed it. Ah, the good days. And then I scrubbed off the paste and got this squeaky clean jar. Ooh. Then I gathered my clay and I started to put stuff together. Here is my sunflower, the best one. A petal. Hm. Finished. Then I put the onion on 275, opened it up, waited 10 minutes, and started working on the next flower, a rose. And another flower, and another- oh wait, for some reason I didn't take a progress video of the next flowers I made. Next. Here are the rest of the flowers, because the sunflower was just a test to make sure it didn't explode in the onion. And then I took them out of the oven and decided to poke them, not only to see if they were too hot, but also to make sure they weren't alive, because I feel like whenever I make clay sculptures they might come to life and try to put me in harm's way like an old slasher film, and I'm but fortunately that was not the case. This time. Then I started to hot glue the pieces together, and here's the sunflower, which is the best one, my favorite, and then the rest. They're not bad or anything, I just don't like them as much. Huh. Then I gathered some fake moss for my mom, thank you, which sort of felt like a baby sea monster, and also smelt kind of weird. Hmm. Here I am, taking the time to hot glue the baby sea monster to the prinkle lid, and me getting excited about how it looks like broccoli. Oh my gosh, wait, it looks like tiny pieces of shredded broccoli, I don't know, th I think about it. Huh? And finished. Wow. Look at the twinkle in her eye. Mm -hmm. Then it was time for me to decide how to display them in a balanced way, but before I could do that, I had to decide how to make them stand up at all. So I gathered even more moss. Then I dug a tiny hole where the flowers would be stuck in. I hot glued that area, and stuck the flower in the hot glue and had to make sure that it was touching the plastic as well, but I soon realized that it was hard to multitask with hot glue and flowers in one hand and a camera in the other, so I had a small panic, <laughs> and then stopped filming. As I sat there in defeat, holding the flowers till dry, I thought, no no, this is all wrong. I should paint the flowers in with shading and stuff, but it's already glued in. What should I do? This is how they turned out before painting them, which looked pretty cool, but then I started painting them anyway. But as I sat there this time, I realized that this is too boring too, and I should paint something crazy and innovative. So I did just that. Polka dots. Yep, that was it. That was my crazy idea. Ooh, wow, she really went off this time. Look at her glimmer in the light. Finally, I started to paint the jar. I painted these white drippy drips and made this pale rainbow color palette. I added that onto the sides and top and came up with this. Wow, it almost looks like a beach ball got bleached and dripped on my jar. I guess you could call it a bleach ball. Ooh. This was the final product. Ooh. That's okay, I guess.